Democratic Congressman and Methodist Minister Emmanuel Cleaver delivered an unusual prayer for the 117th U.S. Congress. He opened the first session by praying to numerous gods and appeared to redefine the word amen into possibly a commentary on sex and gender. Mark Martin joins us now with more. Mark. Heather, the progressive lawmaker began his prayer using explicitly Christian language. He acknowledged God's sacred supremacy, noting that without his favor and forbearance, we enter this new year relying dangerously on our own fallible nature. Cleaver went on to reference the Old Testament passage of Numbers 6, 24 through 26, praying, May the God who created the world and everything in it bless us and keep us. May the Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious unto us. May the Lord lift up the light of his countenance on us and give us peace. Peace in our families, peace across this land, and dare I ask, O oh Lord, peace even in this chamber now and evermore. It was at that point that the Democrats' prayer took a very odd turn. First, Cleaver apparently gave credit not only to the Christian God, but to countless other deities to whom people of other faiths pray. He credited Brahma, a four-faced Hindu deity, as well as God known by many names by many different faiths. He closed with, Amen and all women. Take a listen. We ask it in the name of the monotheistic God, Brahma, and God known by many names by many different faiths. A man and a woman. Republican Congressman Guy Reschenthaler tweeted, Amen is Latin for so be it. It's not a gendered word. The word amen historically now invoked at the end of a prayer has its roots in a Hebrew word that means certainty or truth. It's used by Jews, Christians, and Muslims. CBN News reached out to Cleaver's office for more on his prayer and is awaiting comment. Meanwhile, a dozen Republican senators and around 140 House members now say they will oppose certifying the electoral college results in the presidential election. Senators led by Ted Cruz are threatening to reject the electors from disputed states as not regularly given and lawfully certified unless there is an emergency 10-day audit. 